Hello Rail fans on YouTube, this is Transcontinental River Productions coming to you with episode 5 of my road collection, and here we have my railroad shirts. Before we go any further into this video, what you see here is not my entire collection of railroad t-shirts. I have a lot others in um, different and stored in different parts of my house. Um, but um, and this is this is kind of the maximum number I can actually uh, fit um, on my display bed for you guys. Uh, but if you would like to see more of my railroad shirts um, in another video, um, I would definitely do one if enough of you want to see that. So let's get started with my railroad t-shirt collection. The first one I have for you is this Grand Canyon Railway t-shirt that I got from the gift shop at Williams, Arizona. Next t-shirt I have is this Folkston Funnel t-shirt from the Railfin Hotspot of Folkston, Georgia. As you can see, it actually has a nice CSX engine on it. The next t-shirt I have is this Durango and Silverton Arrow Gauge Railroad t-shirt which I got from the gift shop back in 2017 when I rode the train. Next t-shirt I have is this Get Get in a Train State of Mind, Altoona, Pennsylvania. And this is a t-shirt I got from the Railroaders Memorial Museum. Next t-shirt I have is from Daylight Sales, which I bought off of Amazon, is this Union Pacific t-shirt. Here we have an E-Unit, Union Pacific 844, a UP DD840X uh, locomotive, uh, the words Building America on it, some more Union Pacific GEs, and then, sorry, it's not the best way to view it, but uh, here is uh, UP Challenger number 3985. Here's another t-shirt that I got from the Railroaders Memorial Museum in Altoona, is this plain blue Conrail t-shirt. Here we have a auto train uh, t-shirt, which I got from the auto train terminal in Lorton, Virginia. And I like how it says in the middle, established 1983, after Amtrak took over the passenger service from a private uh, railroad company, Auto Train Corporation. Next up is this Coombers and Toltec Scenic Railroad Trip, the same year when I rode the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad back in 2017. Next t-shirt is this Amtrak Empire Builder that I got as a Christmas present from Amtrak's website. Another Amtrak t-shirt that I got as a Christmas present from the uh, Amtrak's website, naming the California Zephyr Train. And here's a th third railroad t-shirt that I got from the Railroaders Memorial Z Museum, is this Black Norfolk Southern t-shirt. Um, reason why it's pretty faded out, because I've had uh, this t-shirt since 2015, the same year when I got this Conrail t-shirt. As you can see, it's kind of a little numbers and the logo are kind of faded out, but still nice to have them. Next t-shirt is this Oregon Rail Heritage Foundation uh, steam locomotive collection from Portland, Oregon. This uh, The same year I got this uh, Norfolk Southern and Conrail t-shirt back in 2015. And let me pull this up. And then, so you have Oregon Rail Heritage, or Oregon Rail in Nav the Oregon Rail and Navigation number 197, the famous SP 4449, and then SP and S 700. Next t shirt is this uh, navy blue Cass Scenic Railroad t shirt that I got from uh, their gift shop back in 2018 when I rode, the, when it was the last time I rode the train back in 2018 during the National Railway Historical Society Convention. Here's another t-shirt that I got from 2015 at the Durban and Greenbrier Valley Railroad's uh, Elkin Station at their gift shop. And this is for, this represents the new Tigard Flyer. And still looks great after, even compared to Norfolk Southern Conrail t-shirts. Next t-shirt I have is this Iron Triangle uh, rail par rail fan park that shows uh, the three major rail lines that run through uh, that famous Ohio rail fan hotspot. Here we have CSX's former B&O, former CNO, and then Norfolk Southern's former nickel plate. And if I'm correct, uh, so when you look at this uh, map geographically, the viewing platform is like somewhere around here. 
So definitely highly recommend that rail fence spot, and I got this t-shirt back in 2017. Next t-shirt I have is this Yosemite Mountain Sugar Pine Railroad t-shirt, which I got from the gift shop. It has a nice picture of a Shea locomotive on it. And I got this in 2016 during my trip to San Francisco in the Yosemite National Park. Last but not least, this is a t-shirt that I got from a friend of mine in my neighborhood. And this, this came from the Strasburg River and it just simply says, I like trains with a uh, period at the end. It's a really cool. So, this this is definitely one of my favorite t-shirts to have. So here's an overview of um, a part of my railroad t-shirt collection. And like I said, if um, you would like to see more of my railroad t-shirts, please let me know down in the comments below. And as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn those notifications on so you can be the first one to see all new content. Thanks and have a great day, everyone.